announcements, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the celebration of the life ceremony at Belgrade's funeral home. Please note that our washrooms are located at the rear end of the chapel. Also, please take this opportunity to switch off or place your cell phones on silent. In the event of an emergency, an alarm will sound and an official of Belgrade's funeral home will direct you to the nearest exit towards the master point. The exits are clearly marked, one at the front of the curve, leading to a staircase, and two at the back on either side of the prairie. Our master point is located to the south of this building at the end of the car park on Main Street. No emergency drugs are planned for today. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please remain calm. Exit the building using the nearest exit doors and head towards the master point. At the master point, Please check to see that everyone in your party is present and immediately inform a Belgrade's official if anyone is missing. Please note that all Belgrade's officials are easily identified by the company's ID badge. If for any reason you find yourself in need of any assistance, please do not hesitate to call us. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Pleasant good morning. I am Carol Samson, the Bereavement Counselor with the Belmont Group of Companies. As we begin today's celebration of life for Norman Andrews, aka also known as Sonny Kent, allow me to first acknowledge the presence of His Worship Mayor Alderman Julia McGrado. Good morning, sir, and thank you. Before I ask our officiant today um, to greet us, it must be said, Andrew has always seen in me a level of trust, especially when it comes to celebrating the lives of his loved one. Um, not that he's had that many, and not that I'm encouraging to have many more, but Andrew, I hope I continue to make you proud. In the essence of time this morning, I would like to first ask the CEO to greet us um, as we start the celebration. Mr. Keith Dunn. Thank you very much, Kenneth, and again, recognizing Andrew, his family, wife and, and daughter, and his siblings, and Mr. Mayor as well, and representing my own daughter, Mercedes, and my sister's also present. Andrew has been with us for a long, long time, um, and um, he, was, he joined us as a very young man, and, and he has served with us in many, many capacities. What I didn't know was the relationship we had between Andrew and Sonny Kent, because I knew of Sonny Kent. Um, he's along the coffee here all the time, All Stars. I, um, I played at All Stars once, and I was a judge of cleanest singer. But, um, but the, 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 the thing about it is that um, Sonny Kent was well known in San Fernando, uh, up and down the street all the time. and. Um, so today it is fitting that we, we have the mayor who represents Carnival in a meaningful way here in, in San Francisco. And so many people, I see a seal, a cap up here, this, uh, so it's really fitting. One of the things I think is missing is some power, because you can't <laughs> like mass and create power. So if while you're here, you get splashed with some powder today, be comfortable with it, because it's discovered. So again, um, to the family, I bring condolences, and, um, and I hand over again. I, I must apologize that I have another appointment in the north and let's move on. So I want to thank everybody again, Andrew, we will make sure everything is good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, as we continue today, you're hearing me. I feel like I have the mic on. Are you hearing me? Yeah? Better? Yeah? Okay, so as we continue today, we, you know, we speak of celebrating um, Sonny Kent. Who was this person? Yeah, so who was Sonny Kent? Um, this is 
sailor this mass man that we're looking to to celebrate at the age of 95 who has spent so much time with us but he was more than just that I'm not hearing myself are you all hearing me yes to the back yes thank you yes so he was more than that um he took part in a many um he was a pan man he liked the steel pan uh, as far as I know and as Andrews told me he was part of Southern Air's All Stars anybody could, could recollect yeah. that person yeah um, it may have been just a couple years before my time um, he loved the sailor you know and as Mr. Bargrove acknowledges now you know you can't play mass and freight powder so that at some point in time when I send in a message to the rest of the staff if we don't have powder go get it yeah um, <laughs> So that we would be able to represent ballroom dancing was something that he enjoyed and um i'm seeing a, a young lady yes a young lady uh, shaking her head as i'm saying that you know so playing playing sailor mass you must have that dance andrew you can depict that for us yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and i wouldn't ask me i i know that he's not performing as well yes <laughs> yeah but you must have that within you you know that sort of liberty that poise that I've, I've seen it happen so many times and I think uh, even though we haven't celebrated carnival within the last two years you know I kind of miss that that's one of the many things you see first thing for carnival um, so that's who Sunny Kent was that's who this gentleman is that we are going to celebrate today and as we talk about celebration, I would like to invite um, Sister Bev to engage us in what I would call some rhythm. Please. Yes, find me. Yes, I'll be gone. If you don't hear from me, don't come knocking at my door. I'll be gone. In the twinkling of an eye. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. I say a pleasant good morning to the head of my life, which is Christ Jesus. And I do say a pleasant, pleasant, pleasant good morning to His Worship, Mayor, to the bereaved family, to the minister in the midst, um, Sister Inez, and to all those that have gathered here this morning. It's truly a celebration of life and <laughs> truly a celebration of life so I take this pleasure in doing a lovely number for you and I pray and hope that you know somehow or the other it touches your heart as much as it pleases me to come here and do this so no. mm -hmm. I wanna glorify your name.
you will have rest up. <laughs> yes? Yeah, just, just the ones that are uh, just not just standing up, it's taken from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Here begin it. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearance. I wish to the Father, unto the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, the world without end. And they say, Amen. You may have your seats. And I'll give you two minutes to run through. My friends, Apostle Paul, writing to Timothy in 72 words, gave a spectrum of life. <laughs> because our issue in this life has to do with our consciousness about life. Amen? Amen? A great thinker was asked, what is the meaning of life? He took a while, looked up, and then said that life in itself has no meaning. However, life is an opportunity to create a meaning. If I should ask you this evening, what meaning are you creating? Are you in a position to say? Don't speak so loud, I didn't hear you. Please do not answer, let your conscience be your guide. You see, it is not what we gather, but what we scatter. It is not the duration of our life, but our donation to life. You see, we are in a period of transition, so we must get prepared to be prepared because no one knows when the slippery hand of death will snatch us away. Are you with me? Yeah. Amen. And I just want to run down to the end. Folks, if God should put in appearance, no. Are we ready? Anybody bold enough to tell me yes? Yes. Good, so I have a coffee for you. <laughs> the question today is not how he died, but how did he live? Not what did he gain, but what did he give? These are the units, my friends, to measure the worth of a man or woman regardless of birth. Not what it was his church, because I've learned that Christ is not coming for church. He's coming for prepared people. Amen? Amen. Okay. So ready or not, we know that he's coming. So during this period while we're here and we have all different kind of pains, we don't know what to tell those of us who are alive. I think it's encouraged, you know, the sign. I just want to say, we can do one thing. Breathe on me, bread of God. Fill me with life anew. That I may love what the
afternoon to everyone. I'm Bruno Caesar. Norman Andrews, better known as Stanley Kent. Mr. Andrews, or Stanley Kent, as we formerly knew, was born on November 16th. <laughs> was born on November 16, 1927. He was a second child of his parents. Many people knew him as the carnival van here that kept the traditional Sirabas alive in South Trinidad. But who was Son? Son he got his start in carnival at a very young age when he was introduced to the panyard, followed by his all of all the brothers and their friends. The instrument fascinated him. And it wasn't long before he started playing with a band called Batan. His love for the instrument only grew as the years go by. He played for such, played for such band as Free French, Metronome, and Southern All Stars, in which he became band leader. Some love for the steel band did not stay in the band lab. Over the years, he was very instrumental and influential in many schools in San Fernando to visit the Panyard thus allowing a lot of youngsters to be exposed to the beautiful instrument. Mm. Steel Pan was just one of his many talents. So he loved to dance and was a very accomplished ballroom dancer. Today we gather to pay tribute and goodbye to one of the pillars of the Southland. He will be sure you remember. But we love still on the <coughs> privilege to bring a great man. So, so memorable, um, memorable instances. Music Festival winner 1951 with seven old stars. So, Anna, arranged by Thierry Stevens. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, and as we continue to celebrate who this person was, I, I remember um, attending a funeral yesterday and um, so often you know we we say these words when people pass and we don't greet with them when they are alive and I want you know to encourage persons to to tell people how good they are how great they are how much they are loved how much you mean to me when we are alive not when we pass yeah uh, we have another set of tributes coming from uh, our voice notes if you could play for me please For those of you who already recognize them from words, Nicozi, Nicholas Andrews, also known as Silvio Jackson, also known as Nicolai, Nicodemus, Nikki, Nick, Biggs, all the way to what? Beside all that, here today to just celebrate my dad's life, you know, as you pass along to the afterlife, you know, just get to share with everybody here, friends, family, acquaintances, mentioned by the corner, anyway, you were impacted by it, you know, just happy that Everyone here can share and celebrate in his life. Um, you know, as you go forward, you know, for me, you know, you know I am a child of him um, from my 35 years with him. I know he impacted more people than I can comprehend. Because I'm sure that everybody has sit down and start to have a who you are well, or even just for a short period of time. For those who are still and for those who are you know, I think he really was that true, true, true individual. was, you know, was telling me, you know, a true hero. You know, he always made those remarks, you know, when we always do something good or 
And he said, you was a true hero. Yeah. And to be he is my hero. No matter, you know, everybody had a, the people that look up to, you know, people who make them wanna push forward. Um, you know, all of a sudden, a tell to the world, I guess, as you can see. And keep you grounded, keep you going forward, keep you positive. He was that to me. And I don't know what more. What more than just that? You know, for all my life, it, was, it wasn't easy. You know, living up to that kind of expectations. Yeah, let me rephrase that. It's not expectations that he was looking for, but just expectations you know, I put on myself. You know, but as growing up, being told stories of breaking up bands, and, you know. To never liking bullies, having to go and face bullies for others, you know, somebody of the people, you know, in communities or, you know, so he always tried to let me know that you have to come into your own. Don't try to be someone that you're not, but be you to your true self. So, the expectations that he always wanted for. He per se is just me being true to myself. You know, going with knowledge, understanding, respect. Always keeping those things forward. Keeping your pride up. Never, you know, you can make mistakes, you can afford to, but always pick yourself back up and go forward. You know, that's how he was. That's how he, as a self-made man, you know, he just lived his way through and figured out what made it work for him. And anybody else who around him that he knows that hey, I can carry, he will give me that spot right on the side of him and go forward. Just like what he did. He's a pioneer, he's a man leader, you know, you. Play bass, jump in. Well, there was always that space for anything, you know, for anyone who was willing to go forward as well. And one thing I can say for sure is that I appreciate that about him is that he always gave people the benefit of the doubt. In this day and age, you know, people are very skeptical about any and everything. But he was kind of true, and you know, I know he had people that probably, you know, crossed him the wrong way or something, but he still kept his composure, moved forward, never dwelled on it, never had grudges, never really, you know, I have a letter that came back down. So, for me, celebrate, uh, celebrating the life of Norman Andrews, Sonny Ken, Brother Boo, Man Bing, you know him. It was really, really, really that great of a life, I think. It always has ups and downs, but going forward from stories, you can see the struggle, you can see, you know, at times where he think that, yeah, he might give up, and still push it forward, push it through. As he passed away at 95 here, I can definitely say that. He lived that true life. Not many people can say that. I think I'm sure he can say that. 
And one of his famous lines he always tell me is, um, most of the funerals that he attends to be always say, yeah, you know, it's this, they pay a lot of us, but eventually we will have to pay a lot too. And that's something we can't avoid. But what we do with the life, it will last. Because that's the time that it matters, what we do in the life. Because when we go, there's nothing again we can do here. It's only beyond. So, it's hard to even just bring myself to just bring up any kind of story because any body I speak to just memories coming in friends the great idea always share wisdom walks in hey guys what's up that's how you say hello miss hello sir how is today how are you doing what's happening just comes in and you know, lights up the place, makes a funny joke, you know, shares stories with us, no matter how and where, just shares experience, and nobody's going to work. So we eat worlds.
Tell me more of your family too. You know. And that's all. It is. All brothers and sisters out here. And I just think that knowing someone like like that just makes it all worth it. Always getting to be somebody who just wouldn't believe. Cousin from here, or a nephew of East from here, or you know, I just have a story behind it of yeah, they play mass, the fights about that mass, fire that mass, they go down there, and, you know, and then my turn, yeah, people try to bully them, I am fit for that, I fight in this one, I fight in that one, you know, so. Just really, as much as, you know, I overwhelm you, a bit of sadness that you don't know me anymore, and still, oh, I'm really happy that he could have so many lives. You know, I can't even start to just meet your people. But thank you everybody here as a story. I'm sure about that. And I know you guys will share those stories. And I know for what it is. What that impact, I can say for sure. We all got something from it. All have some sort of experience, some sort of living, something. Something of good. And I shall really be carrying on until it's our time. <coughs> but I think he's involved with a great person. And he can always leave that marker. <sighs> so, for my part here, yeah, I just really want to say happy to. I've known you, and I'm happy you can now rest in peace and go forward and know that you are still carrying on what you created and in whatever shape or form that we can. Rest in peace, Mama and Juice. So I can that you were the true hero. I thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Sad that I don't get that I could physically embrace most of you. But yeah. Still appreciate it. I'm thankful that you are here today. Yeah, so Nicholas Andrews, wherever you are, I just gave you a hug. Um, before I hand over to the um, mayor, I just want to leave you with a few thoughts. Life is not about how you died, it's how you live. Tell me everything you have to tell me when I'm alive. And we're all here to serve a purpose. What is yours? Alderman Jr.
the life that was lived well. As you all can see, you won won many hats. <laughs> Colorful character, social activist, cultural activist, mass maker, band producer, coffee boy, San Fernando. To understand his role and to, de to define who he was, one has to look at the era of the 50s, 60s, and the 70s, when he roamed the town of San Fernando as he knew it then. Armed with a good height, well built, Reasonably good looks, <laughs> limited education, and void of skill sets, he was able to survive. Sparrow said in the 1950s that the young keep going and Sparrow take over now. That's what he said. Well, the young keep went and Sonny took over. <laughs> The city of San Fernando, or the town as it was, with those attributes I described, but also with a level of smartness that made him a standout. And those of us from the Pan Fraternity can understand what I was speaking about. Because you couldn't survive without smart smartness. Armed with the Dyson, the, co the control of the walking table, and the ladies, so you survive. And today we pay tribute uh, to for to his contribution to San Fernando because he sowed seeds and sowed them well. There, there were several four characters that came to San Fernando, which Sunny could be described as one. His love for the art form, as described earlier, I was surprised that he was involved with the Buttons Team Orchestra, because Buttons Team Orchestra was one of the first bands, very first in San Fernando, that in the early 40s, and that band was on Johnson Street, up or close to West Strand Cinema Watts. And you're talking really fun history there. He took a with one met with three French mother, pioneer band, of course, before he migrated to um, the All Star Steam Band. But All Star Steam Band, where I guess is where he made his mark. And as you can see, the costume and moving through San Fernando. And for those of you who are not of our age, I'm looking at the, this audience here. If you miss Sunny and All Star, then you're going to miss something. As a child, we are from this we would come to High Street, my, grand, my grandmother, and we would take up our space next to Manhill store at High Street. And there was an island between uh, High Street, and those of you, we know San, I'm seeing San, a real San Fernandez here, not the children, real San It was an island on High Street. And when our stars come up High Street, you will hear them from my Bobby Shoe store. <laughs> and when the band reached the library corner, the end of the band was still breaking the corner by imperials. And we stand on the island, and while we the island, the band was passing on either side of High Street. That was the width and size of the band. And there were the, the sailors of which Sunny was a part of, were we spraying the talcum, talcum powder, not just powder, that talcum powder, in a long pit like this. And the whole thing then sprinkles. So those of us who are standing on the side of it, but the sprinkle with popped up. But it smelled good, so we didn't mind. And it was amazing to see the sailors. And the sailors had choreographed performance. It's not like the nonsense we have now. <laughs> they would dance from side to side. The this line going this way, the line line going the other way. So they had choreographs like this, which made it attractive and beautiful to see. So it was a part of that history. These all stars made a mark and made Santana proud. 
in the 60s under the direction of Mr. Willy Lewis that provided that provided for the band. And in the meantime, I'm probably what has been representing inside the band. In the 60s, even in the 70s, those of us really remember the, the contribution, and those of us remember 1975, when the San Fernando Band came first, second, and fourth in a panorama. The first band was Hatters, the second band was Bon Clair, and the third band should have been All Stars. All Stars came fourth. And I'll tell you how that happened. Tokyo played Spree Simon, that was the year of Spree Simon. The Tokyo people saw wicked. They had Spree Simon and a wheelchair and them on the stage. And that screen each other's to deprive us of our one, two, three that we we'll never get again. The sun is part of that history. We are here today not to mourn this passing, but to say with the life, the life of the world and the contribution yes. made of our city. I am so proud and very fortunate to be the mayor in the past few years. And I have to pay homage and respect to all of those people who have shaped the cultural landscape of the city of San Fernando. Yes. 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 Because that was a bit. You have to have that innate, passionate understanding and appreciation for the role that all of us have played in the arts. A couple of months ago, we buried Lionel Jagasa. A couple of weeks, last week, we buried Black Man. Today, we buried another soul there, and there many others. But we have a responsibility as those of us who high, hold high office to ensure that we do what is necessary so that the legacy will be recognized and delivered. Yeah. Yeah. I was in a bookstore a couple of years ago and I saw so many books on the history of Port of Spain, on the all pertaining to Port of Spain, yeah. and there's very little on the history of San Fernando. Absolutely nothing. So I decided that we have to fix that. Yeah. I contacted a gentleman by the Duarte Philip, like most of us here would know. Duarte Gobern went to the next to Stalin on the upper McGrath Street. And he said, Duarte, we need to fix this. And the council passed a motion, and Duarte was commissioned to write the history of San Fernando, Pan, Mars, and Calypso. Amen. I've seen the first draft. In fact, it was completed and handed over to us on the 18th of November. And it's in the process of printing and will be released in April of this year. And I want to tell the family members that so you can be well mentioned in that book. <laughs> we the people of San Fernando all the time, Lord, for giving us him and his service at this time because listening to the passion and one of his children a while ago here, you know, having a father that is involved in the arts sometimes speaks of deprivation because when your father is not there, they would be in Pania. I have children, I know the story well. They would, they would have been in Pania. Or oh, my wife would tell you what I still don't tell people from the home and coffee they carry to the Pania. So you know the company you get from home and coffee. But we want to thank the family for giving us him and allowing him to serve us, serve the, the mass fraternity and serve the arts. We want to thank him for his contribution. We want to thank you. And we will extend condolences to you to your mother. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And I always forget to lower the mic for me because of my height. Um, you know, as, as um, the mayor was speaking just now, you know, I found myself nodding my head um, as he referenced different places in San Fernando. And then I realized if I'm nodding, it's because I'm old. So maybe it's because these things only happened yesterday, right? <laughs> and I'm going to open the floor for persons who would want to share a pleasant memory of Sunny Kent. Um, make it brief, make it excited, otherwise I'll take him back the mic. So let's go. Anybody, come join me. Yeah? You're too excited for me. Yeah? Come please. Come 
I took care of Mr. Sunny in his last days. I worked in the home, so I met Mr. Sunny coming down to the end of his days. Mr. Sunny is crazy because when I just got the job, Mr. Sunny came in and he was this strong man. I will never forget the time. His mouth. Yes. <laughs> I will tell Mr. Mr. Sunny time to run me. I'm not ready to eat. <laughs> Mr. Sunny, but yeah, when I'm ready, I will go and be. Yes. And he's a man he never used to like to pump by him. He wants to do everything on his own. So I used to leave him and then you know what you know, I will walk it back with the so cold, you know? <laughs> and then I'll tell him, yes, you do a good job. I always we we grew up born. We grew up on, and then he ended up falling, he got sick. Come down to the end of Christmas, I had this big memory, me and Mr. Sunny. And um, at Christmas, so I been on the radio, I was working on the shift. And he would sit on my radio every evening and he would tap. He would tap. I said, Mr. Sunny, what are you doing? He said, I want to dance. I said, You want to dance? I said, But Mr. Sunny, you can't even stand up from here now. No, 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 I want to dance. So me and Mr. Sonny dance whole evening until I get tired. I said, Mr. Sonny, I had to do my job here now. One song, one song. Mr. Sonny dance with me whole evening, whole evening. Me and he just dancing. When he like to me, he said, thank you. He explained his history to me. You know, it's a day he experienced to me his memories, everything he went through in life. And I just was like, wow. When Nicholas would come every single day and he was in Trinidad and yeah, Nicholas had a boy because he was saying to Nafia, um, look out for my dad. Nafia, dad did this, dad did that. And me and Nicholas, you know, we kind of grew up on after that. And it hurt me this morning to hear, I just got the news this morning that he passed away because wow. I myself felt ill. I had COVID, I was in the hospital on ventilators. And so I couldn't go to work. When I came out and I went to work, I saw him Mr. Sunny, they tell me he in the hospital. I said, hospital? Okay. I didn't go back to work after that. And this morning, the boss sent me Mr. Sunny funeral. I just prayed down in the kitchen and my mother was like, what happened? Because I would come every day and tell her stories about Mr. Sunny. So she herself know about Mr. Sunny. And she said, Mr. Sunny passed. I said, yes. I cry. I say, Lord, I don't know where to go. Where to go? I want to go and show my respect to the family. My boss says she don't know your location. I say, when I look at the bottom of my seat, by the way, I say, okay, I go. <laughs> I get up, I get dressed, I say, I go to show respect because this man, he, he really made a difference in my life in a short space of time. I got to know him, honestly speaking. I will come to look stressed and frustrated because it's not an easy job. But just he being there, you always put a smile on my face. If I come to it and I little, he'll come, Nafi, what happened this morning? Say, Mr. Hassan, you're tired, I'm tired. He'll tell me, no man, get the strength and do what I had to do. Get the strength and do what I had to do. Mr. Hassan was a wonderful man, and I was glad that I got to meet him and, you know, become part. I get to learn little things all from him, little history, I get to learn about him and I can truly see that he was a wonderful person in this short space of time I got to know. So thanks for that, Mr. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, um, Nafia. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much, you know, and, and I spoke of, you know, um, what is your purpose? Sometimes we think we have to dig deep to find out. Nafia, you're serving yours. Come again, I'm waiting on you Come on, anybody else who wants to share a, a memory of um, Mr. Sunny, as we call it. And if you're not coming, I'll bring the mic for you. <laughs> bring the mic for you? <laughs> yeah, just a couple of tributes we want to take, yes?
Um, Mr. Son, who has always at our home, I grew up knowing him as Uncle Son, because my uncle, some of you may know him, but my Martin, his name is Martin Joseph. He lived abroad in Texas. Some of you may know him as Sneaks. I am his niece. And uh, when my mom died, Mira Joseph, Mr. Sonny was my strength. I didn't know how to do a funeral, and he was there right through day, night. When my uncle came from Texas, Sonny was there. He was there. I didn't know back and forth every time I could come. Sonny is with us. You know, it broke my heart. When Lucy called me and tell me, go on. I really loved him. He was like a father to me. Because when mom died, there was someone living in a, a one of our homes. And when people die and they didn't put everything in place, and being the only per child, they want to take advantage. And as what Nicholas rightly said, Sonny didn't like anybody bullying anyone. I told him what was happening, and he was ready to go. And I had to beg him, Mr. Sonny, you know, behave yourself. We'll handle it. You know, and right through, he was there for me to make sure that these people left the property. And I thank God today for knowing him, for loving him. Is truly, truly a gem in our home. And I really want to go, I want to say God bless his family. Nicholas, I pray that God bless him, comfort him, because Nicholas needs comfort right now and the others. You know, I may not know all, but I knew Nicholas because he used to bring him. So God bless everyone and I pray. Uncle Sonny, rest in peace. I just want to regress a little bit. You know, I remember the Honorable Junior um, Regalo talking about the qualities of Sonny. And um, just to put a little humor in it, Andrew, I, I see you have quite a lot of qualities of your father. Um, we will discuss those later on. <laughs> Anyone else wants to? Um, Bring a greeting at this time. Yes. Thank you so much. Hello. <laughs> uh, pleasant good evening, teacher and everyone. Um, my name is Trudy Russell. I'm a friend of um well suddenly so have a lady friend, Lucy. I'm not seeing Lucy here. Where's Lucy? Lucy, okay. And, uh, well, I got to know Sally through Lucy because I work, used to work at a place on the coffee, it's a club, Asgard. So Asgard and Sally, I used to call them twins because they were one in front of each other, always together. And through working there, I met Lucy, and Lucy had a son, Nicholas, which is my godson. So Nicholas, your godmother loves you. Stay strong. We will meet and we will talk wherever you are. But Sonny, he was a serious man, you know. When Sonny come out to work, and if anyone in the club misbehaving, Sonny used to, you know, the height of him. And he had a walk. 
And when you hear he turn around and he look at you, sometimes he used to take his face and put his hand like that. They know what time it is. He look at you, you know. And that was it. No one is behaving. So that is, I said it more little. I said, my goodness. I said, I wonder if it's his height. Or if it's just his love. But they were coming into their life. And I thank God that I got to know him. A very nice gentleman. His son. Happy to be his godmother. And I want to say to each and everyone, we know Sonny was a gentleman and a good man. In whatever way we all know him, we say farewell. Let the angels take you into paradise and may you have a rest in peace. Thank you. Um, if we have no other tributes, yeah? Um, Sister Beth, come take it up a notch. Thank you. Yes, I'm rumbling and belly rum. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm rumbling and belly rum now. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm rumbling and belly rum now. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm rumbling and belly rum now. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I'm rumbling and belly rum now. Hallelujah. Yes, I'm rumbling and belly rum now. Praise the Lord. 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 Come on. The only person there is the man that is lying in the box there. And trust me, I tell you, what we have to be mindful of is if we will make 95 and go on. Because we have to understand that the angel was looking over him. Because the make four scores and still back 15 more. It's a journey. It is a journey. So today is a rehearsal for all of us. Amen. So whatever we lacking or whatever we miss, let us try and apply it from today on. Amen? 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 Amen. Amen. Right, man. So I'm about to do a lovely number for you all again. Can you please raise the volume a little? Thank you. I want to glorify your name. Cause you are worthy, 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 worthy to be praised. Yes. You are who you are yesterday, today, and forevermore. What you say is what you do. You never change.
come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. Oh, yes. You're too faithful to fail me. Hallelujah. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life. And Lord, I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You're too faithful to fail me, Lord. What you start, you've always finished. And Lord, I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to fail me, oh Jesus. You're too faithful to disappoint me. What you start, you've always finished. And Lord, I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me, oh Father, yes. You're too faithful to fail me, Lord, oh yes, Jesus. What you start, you've always finished, and Lord, I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. So, Sweet as you are, 
and don't allow anyone to steal your <laughs> spirit. God bless you. Thank you. And if you join me now, please. Bibble, you're a bit anxious. Um, is still in here? Anybody saw still in? Anybody saw Sian? It's disappointing that they're not here. Still in? Come forward, man. First ball. Family is something that we're supposed to always have close by. No matter what happens, you must always remember family. I catch one. Still, it is the first one. So he knows more than I do about our father. You understand me? Pleasant good afternoon everyone. My name is Sterling Norman Shipley. I'm the first born son of Norman Sonic and Andrews. Happy New Year and thank you all for being here supporting the life and afterlife of my dad. Thank you all. Sonny Kent wasn't just a father to us, he was a father to everyone that he met, no matter the age. A real man, as far as I have known from small, always with us, always supportive, always protective, a guide, a teacher, engineer. My father was well known for his skills and his styles, his love for carnival. This is a time that our home would be filled with people from all over Trinidad and Tobago, all over the world. An icon, as far as I can see. Sonny Kent, he'll always be loved. He'll always be loved. Always be loved. I've never seen my father cry. I've seen him vexed before, a little bit angry, but I've never seen him cry. No burden was too heavy for that gentleman to carry. A lot of people used to be coming home to us for a lot of different reasons. Sad, angered, lost, and by the time they are leaving, dealing with my father, getting advice, feeling the love, would be new brand again. Our father was our friend. My father never, never, ever beat or lash any one of us unless he's playing. Never, ever. He was a friend. We used to wake up for him in the night. Every night when he's coming from work. From the time we hear the window and the doors knock. I and my younger brother, Steve, who was here at the time, we would get up to welcome that home. With all the love that we have. All the cherished love that we have. My sister Susan also who is not here. A lot of other siblings who is not here, they all send their love down. 
they all send their love and they know. <laughs> we love you. We love you. We love you. My father is in the house, homes, and hearts of many people on this planet Earth. He was not a guy who used to choose people by who they are, by their color, their creed, their race, their financial status, nothing like that. My father knew presidents, kings, and he knew the small man that we would even term the vagrant, the lost, the homeless. My dad dealt with everyone, every single human being that came across his path. A gentleman, a provider in his way, a protector to all. Again, carnival time was his time. Russell Sons, Juicy, and Taylor Longstars was his band. Mars, that was his passion, his love. Everyone who knew him, we knew him especially for that. That I want to thank you for who you are, who you will, and who you will be where you are going. Thank you for everything that you shared with us, your offsprings, your children, your friends, your family, strangers, human beings, life, people. Thank you, Mr. Samitan. Again, I'm racing here, and I don't want to keep it back, I don't want to keep it long. I want to thank you all. It's not a show, we are saying goodbye to Mr. Norman. I want to say I love you, Dad. We all going to miss you, but we're going to keep you right here. You going on to the hands, the house, and the home of the Father. Again, carry the love, spirit, and joy from earth, and continue shining, being who you are. Norman Sonny Kent Andrews. Thank you all. Reach home safety again after the funeral position. My brother. Again. We are not a tool, but we do know that way. And, um, I want to thank you for everything that you have done and continue being who you are. I love you very much. Thank you. Bye. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. I will be the...
first of all to Renato, my fellow host. Um, many people don't know me, I'm, I'm the son who works at the funeral home, I'm the, the dead boy, uh, as he used to say. Um, Renato, thank you for what you have done so far for us. Um, we do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, I'd love to have you. I appreciate it. Uh, the Belgos family, I want to say thank you to them too. Uh, very young, I came here after the death of my mother, and the Belgos family became my extended family. My mother is Marion Belgo, and I love her dearly. I consider Christian my little brother, I love him more, and Mercedes, and Nasina, it's a bit. You know? I'm going to share some very small thoughts with you about my father. And, um, as Garrett said, I, I, I may have some traits of him. One of them is I can't shout. Um, I don't speak loudly enough. Uh, once I start to raise my voice, I start to get hoarse. Um, that's something that he was a very gentle person and he spoke quietly but forcefully. When I was a child, I never lived with my father. So let me just say that. I didn't live with my father. I didn't have the experiences of my other siblings that my father was there. I didn't live with my father. I visited my father. Um, Carnival Tuesday for me as a child was the highlight of my year because I used to wait in the corner of Scott Street when the last years to see all stars band coming down the road. And once I saw that coming down the road, you know, daddy come in. You know, mass come in and see the mass or whatever he would have portrayed that particular year. And the band would always stop at that junction. And you know, I always thought that it was nice that, hey, that's stopping for me. Lo and behold, when I was a teenager, I found that the band has always stopped there, all the time stopping. So I was a stretch you know. So I mentioned it to him um, one afternoon. We were out on, on the front of Belgoza. Uh, he was passing with Junior. And Junior walked away and left him. And we were talking. And I told him, he said, well, boy, you're still special to somebody, you know. You know, but so that for me was him. He took everything lightly, but he saw what he can see in people and he made his judgment by that. My father wasn't a very forceful person. I, I had a prepared speech but I decided not to go into that. You know, once you move away from something prepared, it's dangerous. So, um, I'll watch my mouth because it's more person. Auntie Lucy, um, Auntie Lucy is Nicholas' mom. Nicholas is not here. Nicholas is in the Netherlands. It's unfortunate that he, he wasn't able to come in time. However, um, Nicholas, we send our love to you. Um, when you come home, you know, we, we're going to be here for you. My father, in the last months, um, was at Lesser Desire's home and they took good care of him. When he went into the hospital, he was then taken to a Mount Paria at um, Maramine. And that day that he was there, they took care of him too. I spent the last day with him. And a lot of you may want to know, he was responsive. Um, he was not talking, um, but he was responsive. And the conversation that we would have had, he was responding to the questions. He, he was squeezing hands and all that. And he was okay. And he would have died in the morning of the fifth uh, peacefully. So most of you would have missed him. Um, he was in home. I'm not going to say anything more. Just to say that Junior Aguero might be the best mayor that San Fernando has had. Because I was thinking, we don't have a history of San Fernando nowhere. This man is an icon. You know, we don't have. Anything and yes, you go into bookstores, you see everything about Port of Spain, but what about San Fernando? And he set apart for lots of pan men in the south, you know. And I'm happy, I'm looking forward to seeing the book. And his family intend to memorialize him in a different way. And once we see what's in the book, we will then reach out to everybody else. My father had a large family, the reverse. Um, and uh, the reverse and the Kent, and we appreciate everybody who helped shape it. So, thank you for being here. And when we leave here, we go to the Cemetery for a simple, simple send off.
And, well, after that, if you all wish to join me for a drink, I'll be by the bar. I'll tell you where at that time. So, thank you, Carrie. Thank you, as usual. And yes, thank you. And thank you, everyone, for coming. And thank you for sharing your memories. And for the past couple of days, I've been getting a lot of them. There's nobody who can eulogize my father because 95 years is a long time. And as everybody would know, I hope I can live that way. I hope. I always tell them, I hope I have your good looks. I have your height and I have your color, but I hope I have your good looks. So, I want to thank everyone for coming. Right. Um, thank you, Andrew. So, let's turn to me, right? I was going to play Frank Sinatra, but Bibli said he's ready to play. So, I'm ready with you. We're going to use this opportunity as well to, to view. So while he serenades us, I'm asking you to please come up and view and remember the COVID guidelines as you do so. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good First time ever in my life I hear two exciting thoughts in <laughs> However, when I came to San Fernando in the year 1956, yeah, that was a long, long time ago, I ended up inheriting a whole bunch of uncles. Nuventi, Dennis Kagi, Sonny Kent, Theodore Stevens. And these people had permission that any time they see me doing anything I shouldn't be doing. You know how the thing go, my So I go again more like that to make sure you ain't do nothing. Because if they happen to say, if you happen to say, I'm on this one, so you gotta explain why. But all this came about because the National Instrument of Change. And I was upset. This little boy, what would you be when you grow up right? This boy was a million school and studied for a moment. He scratched his head and then he said, Daddy, I want to play a friend. Then I become a man. I want to play a friend. That's my ambition. It's not like before, the no cultural ambassador, so I'm going to be more social. And um, that's one of the people who will be able to tell you about Dennis Calis, baby sitting his little brother, Leroy, in a cocktail battle with some fire as well. So the goal that we seem to see. That night is over Because we throw a few pennies from the gutter We seem to feel everything is lost So we fight and to get back something I think of us Oh, I'm searching and be searching To get back that little something we forget to we know nothing of this world in which we live in Someone greater put this world together We must remember Times are plenty, we must be grateful Times are strong, we must be strong Times are joy, we must be thankful Life on the other side of the sky. Then there is a story we must be ready to get together and move races on out the way. And if you're just a good one, what will you turn your number? Let's say tomorrow will be a brighter day. We need the world today. With four seasons, who are we to question? That's what's the reason. 
Wow, is that, that lady, that lady won the hotel. What's that lady over there? You see the hotel? I don't know her name. She's family. She's quite over there in black, black, black top. You want to live here? No, no, I'll come up. I'll